Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. This is Marco as well, and you are with Travel and Study Abroad in Chi. It's amazing having you here every blessed day. Yes, um, on this channel is everything about traveling, getting the chances to travel and study abroad. And it's amazing that I've joined you today. Uh, I just came across some schools in Iceland. And um, today, yes, the, these schools we're going to explore, um, they are on tuition based, but they are very cheap very low okay in europe and uh, once you are able to get to these schools you have the chance to go to europe or wherever you want to be in europe okay so i'll be exploring two different schools and we'll get to know the process and how much you're supposed to pay and all of that the the, the uh, scandinavian uh, school system is kind of changing it's taking a different uh, trend now so we, we would like to make you aware of what's going on now there it will not be a very long video and i would like to take you through so please stick and stay okay um thank you for returning my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and if you are new yes and you haven't subscribed yet do well to hit the subscription button and as well the notification bell okay and do want to like too please uh, the more you like the more youtube will comment to this channel out there to people and like I said in the last video, we want to keep the subscription going. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do want to subscribe for us. Okay. Thank you so much. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. The first school we'll be exploring today is uh, Bifrost University. Okay. Bifrost University is um, a private university as it states here, non-profit institution set on a uh, rural campus outside Iceland capital city of uh, Reykjavik you know it was founded in 1918 and all of that you can take your time and read um, Bifrost offers undergraduate and graduate programs in three academic departments only three business law and social sciences so in addition to degree programs there is a one-year foundation program for student excuse me for students lacking full university entrance qualifications as well as various lifelong learning programs so you can find them all out here on this website and i will drop the link down in the description so you can check it out okay right and um, they do all their programs are taught in the uh, icelandic language yeah so you can go out and take a uh, year you know of this language and then you can study for bachelor's or master's as well um so let's check the programs out the departments i will have department of business okay and the graduate studies um bs in business administration students have the alternatives alternative of taking their studies with up to two administrative um emphasis okay choices can be made from the following they have um business administration with emphasis in finances marketing sustainable uh, management service management project management business intelligence retail management uh, and as well they have a diploma in business administration and retail management okay and the graduate study programs they have ms mll mlm in leadership and management uh, the same with emphasis in human resource management the same here with emphasis in project management and they have another one in marketing okay so this is for the department of business now let's check the one of law and that's a whole lot here you can go ahead and read okay now they do business law the graduate programs they have the same here for pro for postgraduate programs in ml or mbl in business law and postgraduate diplomas in business law as well okay so that's for the department of law and that of social science um, social science it says not found Department of Social Science. Okay, there we go. Right, Department of Social Science. Um, they have philosophy, politics, and economics, in media, public relations, public administration, creative industries, diploma in public administration, and diploma in philosophy, uh, politics, and economics. Okay, and the postgraduate programs they have MA slash MCM in cultural management, uh, crisis management. And, and a diploma in the same program okay so if you want to get on with it you can just reach out and then get on with that they have university gateway in english long life learning student exchange and study at bifrost so when you click on this one 
it will tell you what you have to do. Actually, uh, we went through this earlier. If you have any questions, um, you can reach out to them. They have their phone numbers and email out here. So you can reach out to them to know all about it. And uh, they have a research part also there. And um, if you want to do research, university is a part of an international scientific community which places emphasis on the advancement of research. Okay. So if you are a lot into research, this could be something for you. The university encourages all of its employees and students to bolster the role of research as part of the investor operations and to seek ways to enhance research in developmental fields of study and related disciplines. So it's an amazing place to get on and then you can check out that they have the research center here and um, they have center for European studies also you can just read and all that we can go on to the projects yeah the projects out here they have CTA uh, ACTA Ad advancing migrant women design thinking interface and iPhone power and all of that so you can go out and check them all out I'll, like I said I'll drop the link down so uh, please check them out and the application on how to do it uh, once you click on let me go back once you click on the application it will bring you out here if it's not in English you can tr um, translate it to English and you can create an account first before you get on into it okay so with your email I'm not a robot you send verification you need a valid email address to go on with this and then you can proceed from there okay um, if you have any questions do all to put them down in the comment section and I'll get on you so check this out communication portal all applications for studies go through this communication portal and all your application regarding the application process will take place here enrolled and graduate students who have OWL access, OWL access, also need to create a special access to the communication portal when applying for a new course. So like I said, you go to create an account and then you sign up before you can proceed. Okay. A little about Bifrost here. Um, application process and the cost of tuition. Like I said, it's, yeah, it's a tuition university, so uh, you can pay as low as 300 US dollars a year. And masters, 500 US dollars a year. Living expenses goes around $1,080 to $1,167 a month. Acceptance rates, they have 40% and this is the official website, the one we just explore. So you can go ahead and then, you know, check this out. The admission process involves prior academic performance evaluation and is very likely to get admitted to Bifrost as there are only two applicants per seat. So obtaining a bachelor's degree will cost less than $1,000. The university has affordable master's programs for as low as 1000 as well. And here you can choose from a wide array of full-time programs. However, the students are not limited to them as the university also offers online courses and programs. No. So all can be found on the website we went to and I'll drop them all down. All right, let's get on to the second school. It's Iceland University of Arts. So if you are an art student, you want to do master's in it or you want to do anything in arts this is the school for you um it's an amazing um you know website they have find how to find our study programs student counseling iup policy international relations and all that uh, amazing school okay so we're going to go to the programs okay you have design and architecture fashion design architecture visual communication product design ma design and much uh, performing arts, theater and performing, making art, uh, acting, contemporary dance practices and MFA in performing arts. They have arts education, if you want to do art education, okay, MA or M art education in art education, which is very good. They have a diploma in it as well. Fine arts, BA fine arts, MA fine arts, uh, curatorial practice, MA in it, and music. They have a diploma, vocal instrumental, vocal instruments, um, church music BA music communication composition and then all of that instrumental uh, vocal education instrumental vocal education MA and BA and all that so these are the programs to get onto it moving to Iceland you can check this out like we'll do that in a bit um, let's go to the tuition okay tuition fees 2022 2023 for students admitted in autumn 2022 Okay, 
So um, for BA studies at IUA, I studied University of Arts in school year 2022-2023 is 311.675 per semester. Um, tuition fee for art education, MA music master for new audience and innovative practice. You know, that is all there. So I was trying to uh, do the conversion. Um, point, which is very cheap, right? It says um, Ghana City is 31.32. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's see uh, your store. Let's see if I'm going to find it. Um, oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think you can do the conversion as well. That is like, it's no money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's check this one out. So you come to Google and then you put it in. Um, as the ISK, I guess to uh, US dollars. That's two. Are you serious? Two point six four US dollars. So it's actually nothing. It's it's no money at all, right? So that is for arts education and MA. It's free, I guess, basically. <laughs> Tuition fee for MA studies in architecture, design, fine arts. Uh, that is also uh, 481,000.926 uh, and all that. Um, so please, you should do your background research as well. You can contact them if you don't understand anything and then, you know, reach out to them and they will explain to you, okay? Yes, uh, don't take my word for it. Please go back and do your research as well and then go on to apply, okay? Now, how to apply? If you want to be part, Bachelor programs opens on uh, January 9th, 2023. Application deadline is April 12th, and all that performing arts, they have them all here. International master programs opens 9th, January. Um, deadline is April 12th. Now, teaching languages in English, which is very good. We are not accepting application for MFA in performing arts. Master programs and di diploma programs in education, the same. Where deadline is May 15th. And this is in Icelandic. You can just contact all these people and reach out to them. These are the FAQs. I frequently ask questions. What is a certified copy of a program or course transcript? I do not fulfill the entrance the requirement. Can I still apply? The university may grant admission to applicants who possess knowledge and experience deemed sufficient preparation for entering a degree program at the university. Okay, so please you can check them all out. Uh, I graduate after the deadline passes, so I will not have my degree certificate ready. What do I do? And how many are accepted into each department? We have uh, 25 to 30 here, 30 to 40, 40 to 45, and all that. Can I get credits from previous uh, studies evaluated towards my degree? Is it possible to go on and exchange during my studies? Yes. So many of them out here, you can just check them out and also. Um, can I follow a program part-time? The programs aim at st students attending 30 ECTS each semester in some department. There is a possibility to stretch the study period. And how much? How much does it cost? Of us here, you can find all the information. I hope they have it. And yeah, it brings you back to where we did. So guys, basically that's all about it. We've done Bifrost and then we've done Iceland uh, University of Right. So that's all about it. I'll end here. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section and I'll get at you. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.